So then, let's take a deep dive into the temperament and mentality of one of the most skilled herding breeds on the planet, the Border Collie. With the herding skills come many traits that can be both good or bad, mainly depending on the family a Border Collie lives with. It's not for nothing he's called the workaholic among dogs. This breed needs a job and they need to do it all day, every day. Welcome back to the Fenrir Border Collie Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the Border Collie. So if you love the Border Collie as much as we do here, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future video. So then, based on what we said at the start of the video, what does that actually mean and how does it translate to their temperament and their behavior characteristics? Well, first of all, there are many people saying they'd never want a Border Collie due to his need to work. There's a drive in this breed rare to be found anywhere else. If you don't put that dog to work, you'll end up with a neurotic dog who will develop a number of bad habits and behaviors. And trust me, you don't want that. So in order to keep their high energy and drive on a level where they can function, you need to spend lots and lots of time working and training your Border Collie. So the first question to ask is, are you up for that level of task? Not only do they love to work, they are also extremely intelligent and learn very quickly. This too requires a lot on your part. You want to be exact in what you teach them or they'll either teach themselves or come up with their own agenda, which translated into human can be quite mischievous. Oh, and count on being outsmarted by these guys every day. You won't be the first nor the last to find yourself being tricked by your border collie. One might argue that you're not training your dog, it's actually him training you, especially if you're not careful. So how are these glorious herders with people and other animals then? Well, with his family, any Border Collie is likely to be an amazing dog. He'll love you unconditionally, he'll be loyal and somewhat protective. When it comes to kids, a Border Collie might do better with children from probably 10 years and above due to their tendency of herding their family members. Considering their techniques with sheep, herding family members, bikes, cats, cars, anything that moves will most likely be in the form of that crouching movement, uncanny stare and nipping at people's heels. Uncomfortable and unnecessary, it can be avoided. I'd recommend you not only train your dog, but also your family, especially the children, in proper behavior around your Border Collie. This includes no running, no screaming, no waving arms, no wrestling, no rough housing, etc. This isn't the breed for that. I don't think anyone would say that a Border Collie is an aggressive dog, but he is quite wary of strangers. He'll be a great watchdog, and if given the opportunity to herd sheep, he'll be very protective of them as well. Often working in packs, the Border Collie usually goes well with other dogs, but as with everything else, this depends on how he was raised. In general, he'll do well with other animals if he's raised with them, but if these animals are smaller than him, you do well in teaching him not to hunt nor herd them. Now, something else worth mentioning is how extremely sensitive a Border Collie is to the mood, facial expression and body language of his human. When you've gotten to know each other, he'll be so attentive to you that he'll even know before you do what's going to happen next. And you better be careful in what you express, be that calm, consistent leadership is incredibly important that we all aspire to, as that is exactly what they will feed off. If you want your Border Collie to function well in society, you need to start socializing and training them at an early age. This goes for every breed, but the Border Collie needs this specifically not to become shy, overly nervous in unknown environments or even fearful as an adult. Combined with all these herding traits like the nerve-wracking stare and nipping, he can become quite unpleasant to be around if you're not careful. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching now the border collie like we established is a working dog a workaholic you might say consider his history of herding sheep on large lands and then think about what happens to his mind if put into an apartment in the city with no job to do naturally he'll go mad with boredom a border collie needs space to move hence his need for physical activity combine physical activity with some serious mental challenges and you will have one happy border collie 
A Border Collie is not an easy dog. He's more complex than most other breeds. Due to his herding background, his strong-willed and independent yet very dependent on his human, and very eager to please his people makes this very interesting contrast. While it might be easy to believe that he's one of the tougher breeds, it's quite the opposite. A Border Collie doesn't respond well to harsher methods, but prefers to be praised and treated with softer, kinder energy. Don't mistake that for being a softie, however. He still will need firm, calm, consistent and balanced leadership to give them direction. And it's the lack of direction and job that lets him space out and become more of a monster than the amazing dog that they can and should be. So then, I hope you enjoyed that deep dive into the fascinating temperament of the Border Collie. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and you'll never miss a future one of our videos.